hello all uh, today's video is just a continuation of our earlier video which, which was uh, related with uh, reading the data uh, reading the data from the xls file as a source uh, so in this video uh, basically we are uh, going to see the things which we have missed in the earlier video so to gonna start with uh, we'll first see the mapping logic uh, mapping logic is very simple we'll have xls file as a source uh, after that source qualifier and without changing any data we will just insert same data as is to the relational target so the first task is to create the xml file so uh, we will just export the data from the uh, departments table uh, in the hr schema just save as the data text to columns delimited comma so when you export the data make sure that you will export the column headers also along with the data so after that uh, the next step you need to perform is you just you need to define the range of the data which you have selected so just uh, select the range or select all the data which you which is required go to the formulas tab and over here just define the name so i am giving the uh, name as departments which is same as the departments table in the hr schema department so after that uh, we have done with the first two steps after that you need to create the odbc connection uh, for creating the odbc connection make sure that you will create odbc connection using the system dsn so just go save this excel file in the old xml xls format 97 2003 and I am giving the Excel file name as departments only. Close this file. Now we need to create the ODBC connection. I am going to System DSN tab. Click on Select Microsoft Excel driver. Select the workbook. I have it, I have saved it in G Infra Work XLS. I am giving the data source name as departments only. Next thing we have to perform is we need to import this XML, uh, XLS file. Go to the source definition, sources, import from database. this is the department's uh, ODBC connection which we have created just select it click on connect you don't need to give any username or password over here so basically whatever the uh, range whatever the name which we have specified in the formula in the formula tab uh, I will show you once again data infra work departments okay so uh, this name so over here we have specified a name as department so same name is appearing as a table when we are importing via ODBC connection so over here at source then that name is appearing over here as as part of tables so just select it now we have done with the uh, source we have created new xml uh, new mapping as mxls source we are just importing the new source which we have just imported 
we'll insert the data which are coming from source which is coming from source to the target as staging underscore raw we have done with the mapping creation mapping is in valid state we'll create a workflow corresponding to this mapping just workflow create wf xml xls source create the session task task create select session s underscore xls source create the mapping uh, select the mapping so xls source now just connect the these two tasks task link task now just select the truncate table option at target level uh, we are not sure whether if there is any data already present in the target table so that's the reason we are truncating the data if at all it is present over there and new fresh data will get inserted from the source so we'll just run this workflow let's see what happens so if you see over here mapping got completed successfully source qualifier returned 27 records and same number of records got inserted at staging raw we'll just confirm whether staging raw really has 27 records or not so you can see over here staging raw does have 27 records got inserted if you see uh, so uh, this implementation we have earlier seen uh, in the earlier video but uh, this is not done actually uh, we'll just go through the session log So over here, if you see the uh, session logs carefully, it has connected uh, sources exit ng user hr, whereas it's supposed to read the data from the XLS file which we have created using the ODBC connection, but that's not happening actually. Uh, if you see in the session log, it's practically it has connected to Oracle table. We'll just go to the workflow will open go to the source so if you see here the connection is of oracle type to verify the same what we'll do is while defining the name we have given the same name at xls level which was matching with the oracle table that is departments so now we'll change that name uh, to hr underscore department so instead of department which was same as uh, oracle table we'll change that to hr underscore department so uh, there is no table with name as hr underscore departments in hr hr schema so we'll save it now we'll again go to the odbc connection we'll select the same xls file once once more so go to the system dsn configure select workbook we'll re-import this source once again so go to the sources import from database 
now earlier it was coming only as departments now it's coming as hr underscore departments click on ok so instead of this source we'll take hr underscore departments as a source rest of rest all the logic is same we'll just refresh the workflow again we'll run the same workflow once more let's see what happens so if you see here now the workflow got failed giving error as table or view does not exist in the hr schema so if you see here it's trying to uh, select the values in the table HR underscore departments which is not there in the HR schema so even though we have imported at source level we have imported the source from ODBC connection when you run the run the workflow it is it is actually getting connected to Oracle so why this is happening is if you see here at the sources it's getting connected to the Oracle whereas it should have got connected to the ODBC connection so one thing which we have missed in earlier video is that even though we have imported the connection at uh, at source level from using ODBC we have to we again have to uh, specify the connection at workflow level also so just go to the connections click on the relational click new select ODBC over here I will just remove this HR underscore departments ODBC connection which was already present just to avoid the confusion so just click on new click on ODBC now over here in the name column just give just give same name which we have specified at OD while creating the ODBC connection I'm just going back to ODBC connection go to system DSN configure I'm just copying this go to the workflow level again click on connection relational new click uh, select ODBC give name as departments give connection string same as the ODBC connection name now if you click OK over here it will not allow you and it will always ask for username and password but when you have created the ODBC connection you uh, it doesn't ask any username on username or password so uh, we'll just uh, look at the help file in the Informatica uh, just select so if you see here we'll just read it out some database drivers such as ISG navigator do not allow username and usernames and password so this case is similar when you are creating the ODBC connection it doesn't you do not require really to give any to or to specify any username or password so since the workflow manager requires a database username and password power center provides reserve words to register databases that do not allow username and password so basically when any particular connection do not require any username and password you can uh, specify default username and password at workflow level so here I am giving PM null user as a username and PM null password as a password so we have done with the connection ODBC connection uh, whose name is as whose name we have given it as departments so instead of oracle here at source level we'll select departments which is the ODBC connection just click apply ok okay we'll just truncate the data anyhow when you will 
run the workflow this data is going to get deleted as we have selected truncate table option so now there is no data at target level just run this workflow workflow validate workflow is in valid state start workflow from task workflow is running so if you see a session got completed successfully so return 27 records and same number of records got inserted at target level so we'll just verify whether a really record got inserted at target level or not so if you see 27 number of records got inserted at target level now at this time we'll see the session log let's see what session log says us so if you see over here it's clearly stating that ODBC event using array fetches ODBC event using array inserts connecting strings departments this is the ODBC connection which we specified and the username this is the default username PM null user so the thing which you have which we have missed in earlier video is at workflow level we need to create connection new connection new ODBC connection thanks for watching this video